back here at NSGSpartans.com here with volleyball head coach Brandon Duvall. And Brandon, first two weeks now are in the books. First week obviously got uh, canceled because of the hurricane. Yeah. So you're kind of a little bit behind other teams, but uh, now you've had two full weekends of play to kind of see what you have with your team now. And what have you seen out of them uh, so far that gives you kind of confidence that they're going to be a going to have a really good team this year? Um, the physicality of the team. Uh, there's moments where we are just, you know, we just look and feel way more uh, physical and athletic than some of the teams that we're playing. I mean, you know, we preach blue-collar work ethic in, on this uh, on this team here, and the majority of the girls and a lot of them are picking up from last year, and the new ones fit exactly the mold that we're looking for. So it's a, it's a pretty exciting time because I think, um, you know, we're getting our legs underneath us, we're, we're getting to feel, yeah, because of the weekend that we missed, we're a little bit behind everyone else right now, but I think the first two weeks gave us a good idea of where we stand as a group, you know, uh, there's some work to do, but everybody has work to do, right? so it's been, it's, you know, pretty exciting for us right now. Do you feel that you guys were ahead of, say, last year when you guys first started? Yeah. It's kind of like this year, you had a whole bunch of new uh, freshmen, new players coming in, and you felt like it took you a little bit to keep going. Do you feel like maybe this year you're a little farther ahead than you were last oh, year? Oh, absolutely. Season? I absolutely believe that. Um, you know, the girls, you know, we tried to move some people around in different locations, didn't really like what we saw. Um, of course, looking at the stats as well, you know, we, we were able to make some minor adjustments and put people in the right places, but I think as it stands right now, even being a week behind, I think we're further than we were last year. Easily. I talk about, I mean, looking at, you know, obviously it's tough. You're one in five, but that doesn't always necessarily tell the true story. I mean, you guys have, to a certain extent, you guys have been playing well. I mean, people have been, Charlotte's fourth in the league in kills, and the Wales leading the league in digs, Kristen's second in assists. So, I mean, it's not like you guys are playing poorly. You guys right. are playing well. You obviously have been playing some good teams, and it's, it's tough early on. But, I mean, those individual performances, I mean, some of those individuals seem like they've really stepped up, you know, even from last year when they performed well this year. Yeah. Another it's amazing step what a, year, a year will do for you. Um, yeah, I mean, Noelle's right on pace where she was last year, kind of lightening it up right at the beginning. You know, we tried to move Charlotte to the outside and didn't really like her production out there. Put her right back in the middle, and she looks like she's right at home, and, and if not better than she was last year. Um, you know, Jasmine Frazier is doing extremely well, and you know, Kristen. You know, even though we had Nicole, thought of Nicole coming in being as our leader, Kristen has stepped in the net those shoes extremely well. Um, and actually got a good compliment from the UMBC coach. We, uh, we wanted to make a quick change for Kristen out, and he said that was the best thing we could have done for his team. So, you know, we got to think about that in the future and, yeah. and try to get people, uh, you know, keep people in and keep them working. But Kristen's done a great job. And and, um, and then the new girls come in. They're stepped into the role and have uh, really kind of uh, complimented those girls and raised our level a little bit. As I say, uh, I mean, obviously the biggest standout has been Adriana Ramos. You know, she had 20 kills, the same match that Charlotte had 20 kills, a five set win over there in South State, but come, behind, come from behind wins. I mean, it seems like right there, she's just been a great compliment to her offense, a good compliment to have with Charlotte, two great hitters that can get you a kill whenever you need it almost. More importantly than her production right now, which I think is pretty, you know, has been very good as a freshman, but more importantly as a, uh, than her production is her attitude on the court. Um, she's fiery, she brings a lot of emotion. Um, you know, her and Beatrice and Charlotte and Jasmine, where we really only had one really emotional leader last year, which was Charlotte and, and sometimes Jasmine. Now we have more girls on the court. And I think that has helped our play, you know, raise the level of our play tremendously. Yeah, and this year too, I mean, obviously we talked about in you know, the season, you needed the size up front. You just didn't really have that last mm -hmm. year. You're five, nine outside hitters. And, but now you've got you know, Beatrice and Ashley Scott, you know, they have. One of them had like seven blocks. Well, Scott had like seven blocks in the one match. Right. And that's not even counting your uh, the biggest girl that hasn't been on the court yet, yeah. Jasmine uh, Flowers. So, I mean, you guys have really been pleased with the way you're blocking. It's been really come along this year, and it's only going to get better now. I think, yeah. um, you know, with, with us focusing on other aspects of our game, being a little bit more aggressive on the end line, uh, I think that is, all, you know, in turn, because we focused on that, that has helped out our blocking a little bit. Because mm -hmm. once you get teams out of system, that kind of brings the blocking and the defense back into it. As far as I can tell, for the most part, uh, the majority of teams that we've played, we've outdone every single team. But so, yeah. we've also, uh, our blocking has been improved. So usually when you see a team that has a lot of digs, you wonder what's going on with the block. Yeah. And maybe that was the case with us on the first week. But this past weekend, I think we've upped our blocks and dug a lot of balls. So um, like you said earlier, you know, as much as we'd like to see more wins on our record, you know, we've seen improvement every single match. And because of that, 
you know, we just got to be a little bit more patient. We do have a lot of new people on the team and a lot of new people just college volleyball in general. So I think that's what our tournament season is all about. We, you know, we plug away, we, we address issues in practice, work hard in practice and, and go into a tournament, you know, a little bit more focused, a little bit more physically uh, prepared and a little bit more mentally prepared. Too. Yeah, and like you're saying, you know, the new, new kids come in, they haven't played in a while. Um, you know, a match since last year, and you saw it a little bit there. There was get a lot of attack here, just yep. you know, just air that just hopefully the workout as the season goes on. But now you've got you still got two more full weekends of, of tournament play. What are you kind of looking for your team to do or accomplish? Not just saying you know wins or whatever, but something specific maybe you're looking for the team to kind of do now in these next two weekends where you hit the the conference play. Just kind of dictate pace a little bit more, you know, when we played UMBC, you know, we did that right after we played the five-set match to Youngstown State, and um, we found it very difficult, and it was a physical issue too, I think we were just tired, and that's a, it was an exciting match if you had, you had a chance to see it, um, but then you go into a match like UMBC who, fresh legs, ready to, you know, the quality team on top of that, mm -hmm. you know, they dictated the pace the entire match. Yeah. Um, you know, we pretty much reacted to everything they were doing. We want to see ourselves score more points in succession. We want to see ourselves dictate the pace a little bit better, things like that. So this weekend, and it's not going to be an easy weekend for us this coming weekend because Davidson seems to be doing extremely well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Coastal Carolina, we played them last year and they took it to us pretty well. So we'd like to see kind of where we stack up against them this year. So we're, you know, we'd like to be able to come in and uh, walk out of the gym with people saying that we control the match more often than they did. When you're talking about that five set win, you guys are down two sets and then all of a sudden you guys storm back. That's kind of maybe one of those matches, those early season matches. Kind of like last year when you lost at 3-2 to Greensboro, when you guys fought back just didn't have at the end. Maybe this is kind of one of those matches where now this year, all of a sudden, hey, they learned how to fight back, they learned how they can win no matter what. Right. And that kid's going to give them a lot of hope and confidence as the conference season comes along. Yeah, we've actually talked out about, about that a lot. I and mean, with the newer girls, they may not understand, but, you know, going to Greensboro and, you know, Greensboro coming here and losing to them in five, you know, Delaware State, who did great in the conference last year, we lost to them in five. And it's just those little points in the game that if we could have controlled things a little bit better or reduced an error here or there, um, then we would have won those matches. So this year our focus is, you know, we may have to go five a lot. You know, we're not quite where we need to be. But if we do go five, we want to be the team that pulls it out in the end. Yep. And be more mentally focused. Yep. Like you said, you got two more weekends on the road, and then you're, the Spartans will be here for three matches in one week's time. Tuesday, yep. Wednesday, Friday, leading up to the... Uh, South Carolina State home football game on October 1st. So make sure you uh, catch up to the Spartans there. They'll be right here in Echoes Hall. We're looking for some big crowds those days. So uh, come on out and support your Spartans. And for all your information on NSU Barball throughout the season, keep checking back to NSUSpartans.com.